Action. 199 Kulong with control here for the start. Green flag, and we're underway here from The Rock. Coming down to turn one here, Greg Lovell trying to get a run coming off, but Mike Kulong going to charge back here, coming down the back straightaway. Mike Kulong takes that lead as they come barreling down to turn number three. So we're talking about that. Let's keep an eye on this deficit here between the second place and first oh, place. Oh, right on Lovell the back straightaway. It's Randy Waugh. Five seconds. Have been running a lot faster laps than Mike Kulong. Last time by, seems like the 088 car kind of stumbled, and we are under caution here. Looks like for the 21 car, Randy Waugh. Oh, almost hits Magoo. You see the replay of it. Yeah. Little hit. Rear end damage, maybe a little bit on the right rear corner of that 21 car, but I don't see anything too bad there. Green flag, we're back underway here, and a good restart, like you said, from Lovell there on the outside, but no help behind. No help behind, but we'll see if he needs it. He's holding even with Mike Coulong here, coming out turn two, but Mike Coulong just has so much power there on the bottom. Gets on by him. Ricky J going to try to make a challenge at the 088 car here, coming down into turn three. Here comes the Boyle's truck in 193. Ricky J going to take over the second spot. So what looked like a promising restart from Lovell turns into a disaster, loses that second position, falls back to third. Because that's just going to make yourself even more problems. And you see the 66 go around the back straight away here. Steve Grant goes oh. around 49, around 03, all around. That's going to bring out a caution here. 22 car Craddock got loose coming off a of two there. Uh, cut across a 66 nose. The 66 tried to move. Up. Uh, out of the way, and the yeah. 03 just was already to there. Go on that. Yeah. It took him a, a few shots to uh, get into that spot. There's going to be a big setback for that team. It's 199. Ricky J beats everyone off pit road there. Uh, he's going to fall back to 7th or 8th. Shuffle eighth. up at the front here. Coming back to the green, coming to lap 35 of 138, just north of 100 laps to go here from Rockingham. Ricky J with control for the first time tonight on this restart. Green flag, we're back underway. Good restart on the outside by BSR Kilojoules. KJ trying to get things working there. Going to have to duck back in line, although going to hold strong for a second. Ricky J tried to get clear. He didn't. They can't clear him just yet. KJ throws in deep here in three and four, but Ricky J gets that bottom and powers off here. Ricky J gets the lead. Crank it too hard. Let them kind of stay even with you. As you see here, though, the 029 KJ getting on by Herman Reese for a position. KJ back to the second spot here. Now Greg Lovell wants to get past the 120. Oh, a little bit further back here, 103, and Nelly goes around, and we are back under caution on lap 62. Round into the outside wall goes the 103. So a little bit of contact going into the corner. In, and then that car steps out on him. Yeah, Harry Cody and hard to the outside wall. Probably lucky we're not running the next-gen cars tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Front row, Ricky J and KJ taking us back to green here, coming to lap 67 of 138. Green flag, we're back underway. Back underway here, 029 car has a nose ahead of the 193 machine as they come through the turn here side by side, coming off a of turn two. KJ making a good run of it on this outside, but we'll see what happens when we get to turn three here. We've seen that inside line be pretty dominant. Can KJ make it work? Ricky J starts to leg him out a little bit, and KJ falls back to that second spot. Put Ricky J back on the point here at Rockingham. I'm just sitting here right now, man. Just sitting here waiting to I'm see just what watching. happens at I'm Rockingham. A fan. Everyone kind of stayed single file here, but I think it's the whole field saving versus Herman Reese. <laughs> 1.47 seconds ahead of our second place car here, and you see Nelly gets sideways there. Come and on, there's the caution. He keeps it straight, but the caution still comes out, Joe. Green flag, we're back underway here from The Rock. Good restart there from the 088, bad restart from the 73. Fantastic launch by Greg Lovell. He didn't just get away from the 73, he got away from the 193, but you see Ricky J already starting to come back on those fresh tires. We'll see if he can do anything with that, though, because, you know, Catching them's one thing, passing them's a whole nother, Joe, but Ricky J's got his nose to the inside. The 088 here, they're going to be side by side coming across the line here. Greg Lovell's best bet here is going to be to give that 193 as little room as possible and make that move, but the 193 still rolls on by the 029 to the inside of the 088 car. Yeah, that car's just, it's, it, yeah, it did not hook up with the two tires there on the restart. Did Lovell in that 088. Lose his second spot, going to lose third here coming off a of corner number four, going to probably lose fourth. Down the front straightaway. Corner. Coming off one here, checks up. Uh, coming off two, car checks up and brain fade. 
little full head of steam, nowhere to go. Just gets into the side Ooh. of them. It's gonna get nuts. This is gonna get nuts. Herman Reese, Harry Cody, and on the front row, Terry Scott, Furco, row two, all on old tires. Ricky J gonna have a good shot here on new freshies. Starting back there in fifth. Into the restart zone we go. Green flag. We're back underway here from the rock. Herman Reese gets out clear. Does a great job of getting that restart here at 13. Harry Cody and tries to challenge him. On that high line, can't do it. Furka way up the track. The 03 to the inside. Look at Ricky J looking <laughs> around at that 66 car. Terry Scott can't find the real estate to get around him. These guys barrel into turn three. Ricky J gonna try to make a move on the high line here, get through some of this congestion. Is he gonna thread the needle here between the 029 and the 66, or is he gonna stay in line here right on the back bumper? KJ gives him a little bump. KJ gets tight coming through turn one. Two cars on four tires now side by side. This is what you want to see if you're Herman Reese, if you're Harry Cody, and here comes KJ. AJ to the outside of the 13. Caution is out. Caution is out. They're going to be coming back to the line here. This might end the race right now. Can Herman Reese hang on to this? KJ's going to get a big run coming off a of turn four. They come to the line, but Herman Reese hangs on to it. I think that one is going to be the night ender as Herman Reese should hold on to the victory here tonight from The Rock. It's going to be Herman Reese taking home the victory here from the North Carolina Speedway.